Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at Rasa Culture. As you might already know, when we are running our mud crab farm, we mainly use a RAS systems. And in RAS systems, one of the most important equipment is actually the sand filter. So in this video, I'll be going through some of the operating principles of the sand filter and I'll be showing you a brand new one and how we assemble them. So stay tuned so that you can learn a bit more about this important equipment in the RAS systems. Welcome back guys. For those who are new to RS Aquaculture, we actually produce content with regards to mud crab farming uh, using RAS technology or even shrimp farming with Bioflock. So do like and subscribe if you like our content so that you get the weekly notification which we will be releasing every Friday. So coming back to our topic on the sand filter. This is actually a new system that we are actually building. Uh, as you can see, it consists of a sand filter and a small pump on the right. Uh, as of now, we actually have not connected the pump towards the sand filter. And you can see the pipings uh, that are almost in place uh, to connect it towards the inlets of the sand filter. So you can see that the pump is actually being connected uh, to with a one and a half inch pipe going into the left side of the sand filter. And on top of the sand filter, there's this uh, multi-port valve. So one uh, important characteristic here is that uh, some of the multi-port valve on top of the sand filter is actually what we call UPVC. And our normal pipe is actually PVC. So the dimensions might be a bit different. Note that we actually bought this sand filter from China. So when we lift up the, the multi-port valve, this is actually what you see inside. You For the normal sand filter, you usually will have a pipe that goes down all the way and in which you have like a, what we call nozzles that will be responsible for either distributing the flow evenly throughout the sand filter. Note that we have not put in the sand at this point, right? So normally you'll get the sand filter like this. It doesn't have anything. You probably have to put in some sand. And here's a close-up of the, the bottom part of this uh, assembly. You can see that there's actually slots inside. So this is to ensure that water is able to go or travel all the way down, come out from the slot and goes up to the sand filter. And obviously you want it to have slots so that the sand doesn't you know, get reintroduced back into the system. So this is actually a very important point to ensure an even distribution throughout the sand medium. Right, so it looks uh, like this from the top side. You are supposed to put in the multi-pot valve exactly on this pipe while you, after you fill up the sand. Right, so this is a very important step. I might consider to do another video if uh, we get a lot of feedback of how do we put in the sand and how to do up the additional connection of the piping. So one of the important features of these sand filters is if you look from the bottom, which is on the outside of the sand filter, you usually see we have a nozzle uh, or you can say it's just a socket uh, in which you are able to unscrew it uh, and the water will flow from the sand filter. So this is actually particularly useful when you are trying to drain out water uh, from the sand filter which is because you need to do maintenance or some other reason. However, in this design, the sand right doesn't come up from the, nor the, the socket because similarly to how water is being introduced, it also has a slot to prevent the sand from coming out. This is not present in a lot of other sand filter designs, so take note. Right, so I'm just taking a closer look at this uh, multi-pot valve. It's basically a valve system that sits on top of the sand filter. So you can see there are actually usually three connection points. The first one on top is usually where the pump, uh, where the water goes inside the sand filter. So you can see there's a very small uh, naming on it. You can see it actually writes pump. And the other connection, which is the bottom right, usually writes a return on it. So this is actually where the water will come up from the sand filter. So this is actually connected to might be your biofilter or even to your protein schema depending on your process. And you can usually see that you're able to unscrew both of this part um, because they actually have a union connection. And usually behind here, you will see that there's another line. It's called the backwash line where the solid or where the waste will be removed from the sand filter. So uh, you can see the coupling is a bit different. It has a transparent... Uh, connection as compared to the pump and the return line. 
So the reason is because when you do backwash, you would probably do not know whether your filter is really clean up and you need to look at the amount of solids that are coming out from the uh, discharge line. So that's why it's transparent. So, you know, if, you're, if your water is already clear up, you have no more dirt to discharge, then, you know, obviously it looks clean and you know that's the, your time to stop. So more on this multi-port valve, right? So basically on top of it, you can see there are many different settings. Uh, so this is actually new, so I'm just going to remove the, the plastic so everybody can see it clearly. So obviously the most important aspect of this sand filter is to have what we call the filtration mode. But you know, it's very confusing for people who have never opened this up before. What exactly happens in filtration mode? So to illustrate this, what uh, from the side view so water will go in as usual from the from the from the part on top and it will it will what we do is will exit out towards the bottom part and water will travel down all the way to the sand and re-enter back through the middle pipe and go back to your return so meaning to say if you have this configuration a lot of the ways will be trapped on top of the sand layer and obviously over time you're going to have a lot of dirt and what we will do is to change it to backwash and what tends to happen at this point is all the dirt that were trapped on the top layer of the sand will come back from the side of the, the MPV and goes out to the backwash line. So it removes up all the top layers of the dirt that are trapped on top of the sand surface. So this is actually a quick tool to, to run in different different modes. So what media do you actually have to fill inside the sand filter? So obviously we are using sand. Uh, the dimension here is 0 0.6 to 1.2 mm. So you need to refer to your manufacturer specs and decide what is the best for you. And we are actually using river sand that looks like that. We do not add in any other things such as carbon filter or etc. Because this is solely a solid removal process. So hopefully you guys learned something about um, the sand filter. And you know how to use it and how to assemble it as you build your RAS systems. So that's all for this video. We hope you guys like this video and enjoy and we hope to see you guys back again at Rascal Culture where we're presenting new content with regards to Minecraft farming and even shrimp farming. So stay tuned.